This is a banner tow release that I've designed to put on a cadet senior uh, remote control airplane. What you see is the L bracket will actually be uh, mounted on top of the landing gear bracket. This part will extend down out of the bottom of the airplane and this part, this side here will be uh, facing the rear. And what will happen is the banner will be uh, have a cable on it and the cable or line will be attached to this pin. And during the takeoff, of course, this will be in uh, locked down position. And after the banner tow, I'll need to come around and release the banner. So this is a mechanism to allow me to do that. And the way I've designed this is the screws will be mounted down through the inside of the airplane and be flush mounted. That's why we have uh, the, the holes recessed here for flathead screws. The servo is going to be mounted right on the top with a piece of servo tape. And uh, the way that I have the servo mounted, as the arm pulls up, it actually pushes down on the aluminum bracket. So there's not very much pressure on the servo that's going to allow it to come up. So I have this hooked up to a servo exerciser, and currently it's in the down position. So when I get ready to release this, I'll move the pin up. And as you can see, the pin goes almost all the way out, but leaves just a little bit. The pin, pin comes almost all the way out, but leaves just a little bit inside so that the wire doesn't get free. And I'll adjust the travel limits on the transmitter to enable this. Right now I'm using a servo exerciser. So there's in the down toe position. And here's the release position. Now form of this could also be adapted for a sailplane release. Uh, also another note about the way that I've designed this. The bottom piece is uh, a quarter inch plywood edge trim. This is a one inch angle aluminum. And this is a piece that I had available. So you might be able to use a, a thinner piece of this. And then I put bolts uh, to bolt the ply plywood piece, the plywood edging, onto the angle bracket. Now the purpose of this is so that when I get ready to mount or, or uh, take this off, all I have to have in the bottom of an airplane is a slot big enough for this piece to go through. So. Uh, on the base of the airplane right, uh, right behind the landing gear block, there will be a slot this big. Then the angle bracket will be inserted down through the slot and then the bolts will be installed and nuts attached on the bottom. And then I can screw this piece back on. So it makes the assembly a lot cleaner. There's not such a big hole in the bottom of the airplane. The banner drop mount has uh, been attached now to the bottom of the plane. There's a slot that goes across right in here. That's where the angle bracket comes down from inside the plane and it's bolted on. Uh, there's one additional hole here where the pin comes through. And here you can see the two bolts that come through the landing gear block that hold this on. And then the two screws that hold the half inch or quarter inch plywood bracket that's used as the pin guide. On the inside, you can see the landing gear bracket and the mount as it's attached. And this is the pin that goes through the servo will be mounted with servo tape in this area marked out on top of the bracket. This shows how the servo and the pin is going to be attached. And as I said before, there will be servo tape on the servo just uh, attaching it to the metal bracket on the top. Flathead screws were used so that there's a flat mounting surface.
Okay, I'm holding the servo in place so you can get an idea how this is going to work. So it's in the up position. The tow cable will be put inside the slot and the pin will be lowered. And that's how it will be flown. When I come around to release it, uh, release the banner, then the pin will be withdrawn and the banner will be released.